I waited very long because I thought these concertos are recorded already so many times, so I didn't really feel that it's needed to make another, another recording of those concertos. They asked me in the intermission, oh, did you record this piece which mm. you played tonight? And sometimes I have to say, oh no, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have it yet. And then I can see in their face and they're a little bit disappointed and they think, oh, that would be so nice to listen to it also at home. I mean, sometimes you really feel that there's a need for it mm. to record something, especially if it's something which is very rarely played or which mm -hmm. is a new piece or some very interesting um, combination. Of course, I love both con concertos very much. I play them very often in the concert. And it's just a wonderful combination, uh, especially with uh, Charles Dutrois and the Swiss Command. And when, if you have such a team, you know, and uh, such a chance to record um, these pieces. So, so with the Swiss Romand, I also had many concerts before together with them and we were yeah also on tour you you know people more and more and so it's, it's really a very very nice group and um, the atmosphere is, is really very warm in the orchestra so it's, it's actually it's wonderful to have musicians um, like that when they, when they are together in such a harmony you know mm -hmm. so it's uh, more the challenge to keep it fresh you know, and not to have the inner feeling of, okay, again Mandelson or again Tchaikovsky. So it's, it has to be always this really something new, you have to find something or you have to be open enough and fresh enough to let new ideas come. Yeah.